Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series on the channel called the Knum Project. This series will focus on the fourth planet in the raw system Knum. My art has improved greatly since my last video on the circuit project, so I hope you can appreciate the effort I put into this series. Anyways, let's get into this new series. The planet Knum is a terrestrial planet located in the outer reaches of the habitable zone of its star. Because of its location, it has a lower average temperature than that of Earth with ice sheets covering the majority of the polar regions of the planet. Knum is also a very volcanically active planet resulting in frequent volcanic eruptions. Orbiting Knum are two moons Heka and Anuket. Heka is the larger of the two moons, being about the half size of Earth's moon Anuket, is the smaller of the two moons, being about a tenth the size of Earth's moon. Life on Knum originated in the deep sea, feeding on the chemical soup from hydrothermal vents that were formed by minerals from carried from the mantle by the volcanic activity common on Knum. This life was simple and prokaryotic in nature, similar to bacteria on Earth. For millions of years, things would stay that way until some cells evolved photosynthesis. However, photosynthesis generates oxygen as waste, which is poisonous to the oxygen intolerant life at the time, causing the extinction of the majority of life. From the survivors, one group would evolve to metabolize oxygen, which is more efficient than the methods used by their ancestors. Over time, both the photosynthesizers and oxygen metabolizers would increase in complexity, becoming multicellular organisms. Descending from the photosynthesizers are the tyrophytes. Tyrophytes use a purple pigment for a photosynthesis instead of the more familiar chlorophyll. Tyrophytes also have a single flat triangular shaped leaf running along the length of the stem, giving them the shape of an arrow. Descending from the oxygen metabolizers are the protovermis. The protovermis are long worm shaped animals, divided into segments with one head segment and multiple body segments, with each body segment containing a pair of limbs. The protovermis have a single triangular shaped eye on their head segment. This eye is a simple light sensing patch of tissue, so their vision is very poor. Now we have reached the end of the first episode of this new series. I thank you for waiting for this video you really mean a lot to me, as this channel has been a way to show my interests to the world, and I hope you enjoy seeing my creations. Goodbye.